We're going to photograph. This was sent to me by Barbara Schaff. That's Libby Schaff's mother. Libby is on our right. She's now the mayor of Oakland, her second term. Her mom is on the left. And this was during one of the great and grand Christmas parties Libby's mom went uh, through. I got to know them in 1991 during Oakland Sharing the Vision, and we became fast friends. And um, Libby, I believe, had just got her law degree at uh, Loyola and uh, was working at Wendell Rosen, if memory serves. Wendell Rosen Black and Dean, as it was called, or maybe still be called. Wool we'll Offer in downtown Oakland. Um, what we were drinking at that time, oh, some type of, I think this is some type of, I think it was, it wasn't quite eggnog, it was something else. But anyway, uh, I believe it was, if I look closer, that is, you know what that is? I believe that's vodka for us and not for Libby. Libby's got something a little different. But that, I believe, might be vodka. So we're sipping or something like that. But at any rate, um, this photograph, I believe, was taken in 1998. And I had hair and wireframe glasses and mustache. <laughs> and uh, yeah. history. And Libby's now mayor in her second term. And I want, as a note, if I didn't say so before, I will say again that I had permission to post this from Libby's mom. I told her I'd love to make a, a blog post. Or, uh, she says, well, great. So here it is. Wow. Time flies. Time does fly, doesn't it? And look at me now. Same face. No hair, no mustache. You would say, why no hair? I shaved my hair off after I worked to try to bring the 2005 Super Bowl to Oakland. And that's, it was a, I looked, what happened was that, what happened was that then Oakland Mayor Jerry Brown wanted me fired because I accused him of being racist. Um, and something we've talked about and he's apologized for, okay? Um, he did apologize, so that's water under the bridge, as they say, but that's what happened. And I believe then that Jerry did not trust me to be what I was, which was the head of the effort. And he would he called the NFL behind my back and asked them questions I had already given him the answer to. Okay, so I can talk a lot more about that, it, history, but that's not what this vlog was about. But that's what happened. That's why you would say, Zinni, what happened to your hair and why did you shave it off? That's the honest reason. I looked in my, looked in the mirror. Um, I said, you can't fire me. I remember he had at dispatched then city manager, our Bob, to call me and, you know, issue the order and. And, you know, Robert, it wasn't something Robert wanted to do. We're friends to this day. Good, great friends. He's a mentor. But what was done was done. And I said to Robert, you can't fire me. I, you know, he said, why? I said, because I quit. And I put out a press release and went to all the major newspapers and the rest is history. Um, and then maintain the National Football League is a great, a great friend. Having just finished covering uh, Super Bowl week. And now we're on to Super Bowl 55, which I can't wait to see. Um, but out of all this, I also got great friends out of the chefs and Bob and Barbara, um, Bob Schock, Libby's uh, stepfather. And they've been great second parents to me, and my mom adores them. So um, there you go. But I had to explain that history because there is an obvious difference between how I look now. <laughs> and then, right, I still have the shirt, although I have to admit the shirt is much tighter on me after um, putting on a few pounds of muscle. So there you go. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.